I am so, so, so tired of all the fees sa PayPal. Ang dungis-dungis ko na pero kailangan kong i-share to. Hi, my name is Mary. Every day nagpo-post ako ng bagong videos na pwede nyo sundan na some sort of roadmap kung gusto nyo na maging freelancer or virtual assistant or gusto nyo na mag-work from home gamit ang computer at internet. And uh, for today, let's talk about the fact na may pimples ako. 13 hours na ako sa harapan ng computer ko. And now that I am just about to sleep, bigla ko namang nakita na sobrang laki na naman nung fee ng PayPal and uh, I've been trying to negotiate this with a client na baka naman halimbawa, what if we try something else that has a lower fee pagkatapos naalala ko I was talking to Parallax and you know what today let me show you how to sign up sa Parallax because I know when I did my research na 0.9% lang yung fee nila versus the 4% ha ng PayPal. Let's start. So step number one, punta lang sa app.withparallax.com pagkatapos don't have an account yet, click on sign up. What I usually do here is just sign up with Google. Tapos syempre hindi ko na pwede ipakita sa inyo yung next step. Ikikwento ko na lang. Um, pipiliin nyo yung tamang tao. Eh, este, yung tamang email. <laughs> Gusto nyo yun. For a moment. And then, to get started, um, you need to prepare um, tax ID number or TIN. Or passport or national ID. I'd probably go with TIN. I'm ready. The next step is for you to create your profile. So, of course, you need to fill out your legal name, phone number. Tell us about yourself. What platforms are you currently? How much are you getting paid monthly by... Um, US clients or employers you hear about us and then pagkalagay pala ng phone number mo kailangan mo i-click yung verify and then you have to click on send code so let's click on that it should come to this phone okay so phone verified let's hit on continue the next step is you have to complete your address this is the KYC or know your customers um, form na birthday country address and then dot tax ID or TIN. Quick tip lang. It's best if you um, scan your IDs. Para pag may mga ganito, mabilis mo na siyang ma-i-input. Kaya ko, bukas-bukas lang ako. Pero syempre, kailangan secured. So, eto na. Next is, you have to upload your ID. Make sure na valid ID siya. So, they accept passport, national ID. Let's go ahead and upload my tax ID number. Choose file. Sana mag-work talaga to because... Okay, next, click on I've read and agree to the following. Click on continue. And then... A moment. <laughs> Dito, may disclaimer naman siya. This could take a couple of minutes. Why not grab a cup of coffee while you wait? I love that. Gusto ko yung may mga disclaimer na ganun. Hindi yung yo-hold ko ng 4 hours. Wala man lang paala. <laughs> Charot lang. <laughs> so, ang update sabi niya kailangan daw i-reupload daw yung ID ko ulit. Tapos back to wait one moment. Feel ko magtitipla muna ako ng kape. Okay, it's not accepting my TIN. So, I'm trying my driver's license. Update, tinanggap niya yung driver's license ko. So, instead of TIN, ang i-upload yung driver's license. And it says here, welcome aboard. Start receiving payments in your US bank account. So, if naiintindihan ko siya correctly, just like wise, gagawan ka niya ng US bank account. <laughs> Gusto ko yun. Go to homepage. Ah! <sighs> Love it. Okay. Now, may step-by-step -step process siya. I've already signed up to Parallax. Next is, open a USD balance account. So, it will not automatically create a USD balance. Instead, you have to open a balance. Click natin, baka may babayaran ha. Click on open balance. Okay. Ayan, open a USD balance. We're working our magic. Give us a few seconds. And then it says, congratulations, your USD account is here. <laughs> View account details. Okay, so it created a uh, US bank account for me. Nice. Next step is to link an account to send the money to. I love the fact that meron sila dito estimate na this would take about 2 minutes, 3 minutes. Gusto ko yun. Link account. Now, I wanna... Oh, this is nice. So, I can link currency account. It could be bank account. It's you're going to love this. So, pwede mong i-link yung bank account mo, local bank account mo, dito sa Pinas, or e-wallet. 
check natin yung e-wallet just in case. So, sa provider, may Maya, may Gcash. Nice. Gcash account. Testing lang. On the account. Add. Mabilis lang. Ay, gusto ko to. I'm not sure if this is going to be available for everyone, but I can request $10 on my account. So, if I am eligible, I'll receive $10 to convert and send. So, requests. Oh! This is interesting. Okay. That's pretty much it. Nakaset up na ang parelax ko. So, let's see if this will work. Let me get everything sent to my client. See if magwo-work siya. Keep you guys posted. Baka guys, meron kayong ibang marirecommend. Ah. Pero, so far, ito yung pinakabagong nakita ko. And if meron kayong naiisip na pwede i-try, kasi I've tried everything. Lahat yun na-try ko na. And hindi ko masyadong gusto talaga yung fee. And everything's changing. Even wise nang change sila ng percentage nila sa, sa fee. So, let's see if this will work, right? New platform, maybe this is a better way for us to transact with our clients. Especially if matagal ka ng freelancer. Alam kong mararamdaman mo yung nararamdaman ko sa dami nang nagpapadala sa atin sa PayPal. I'm not really saying that it's a bad problem. This is a good problem. And I think Parallax might be a good solution. Anyway, that's it muna for today. I'll keep you guys posted. Comment any questions you guys have about working from home. Follow from or work from home. Cheese, bye!